We will now begin recording the interview with Ali Abdi. The recording takes place on the 30th of January 2017 at Grange Gardens Pavilion. The volunteers present are Elizabeth and Kayleigh Williams and this recording is being collected as an oral history and will be part of the Chronicle Project, a project led by VCS Cymru and funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Ali, would you mind introducing yourself, please? Yeah, my name is Ali Abdi. I live in Grangetown uh, and I'm working on the Cardiff University Community Gateway Project. Okay, and um, would you mind explaining what the Gateway Project is and how it all began, please? Yeah, the Gateway Project is uh, one of five Cardiff University flagship projects. Uh, ultimately, it's all about making Grangetown an even better place. Uh, utilising the university's world-class research, uh, student volunteering, and how to bridge that gap and you know make use of uh, the resources available. Uh, we, we're here today in a Grange Pavilion. This is an old uh, rundown Bowles Pavilion. So one of our projects, uh, access projects, is uh, rejuvenating this space, uh, making it more accessible. Uh, for a long time, when it was uh, in the hands of the Bowles community, it was exclusive just for people who play bowls. Uh, now with the university's involvement we've been able to open up this space. We've got lots of activities taking place. We have events uh, booked and activities throughout the year and yeah I think you know it's, it's fantastic and we're always looking for more and more people uh, to get involved. Oh, wonderful and so what sort of activities and events are you holding here then? Yeah, so uh, I'm responsible, uh, so I'm the Facilities and Partnerships Manager, so I really signpost and also promote a lot of the uh, projects and activities and try to get lots more people involved. Uh, I've took a particular interest in anything to do with young people uh, because, you know, I think it's important to involve young people in the, in the future of, of any development or projects and activities taking place. So uh, we've established a Grangetown Pavilion Youth Forum where young people uh, tell us what they would like to see happen, take place the Grange Hub Pavilion um, and, and as a result of that we've started to run some activities geared towards them. We've got like a youth club that runs from here twice a week. We got a really good uh, coaching and cricket activities taking place here. Uh, a host of other sports like football uh, along with mentoring that take place collectively so football and mentoring together. Uh, so yeah I think you know it, it, it's a it's a beginning of a long journey but lots of activities taking place. Uh, we've got a community garden also running every Sunday so if you're interested in uh, getting involved in uh, raised beds and growing you can get involved in our community garden. Uh, we have an Esau class running from here three, day, three days a week to serve the local community uh, and members of the community who, who, don't, who don't speak English, whose English is their second language. Uh, we have the fan group based here every Monday, uh, the friends and neighbours group and they're fantastic and they bring people together from a host of different backgrounds to have a conversation. Uh, we have uh, mental health uh, groups accessing this space, a uh, whole work club accessing this space. Uh, we're going to soon to have a cafe as well also running from this space so yeah I think you know we still got space in our in our weekly uh, booking log so yeah if there's something you want to uh, get involved in you know the themes that are behind me there the nine themes uh, the ones that we're taking that you know something falls in, inside of it will if you want to lead on something we'll also find a, a university lead to also uh, collaborate on that to make it a success oh, wow sounds like you guys do so much here I and mean, if we just go back to the youth forum, I mean, you said you were involved with yourself. What benefits has that brought to this community since you started on that? Yeah, I think the youth forum has been fantastic uh, because uh, in, a, in, a, in a previous career or previous job role, uh, I did a lot of youth work. Uh, I worked for the youth service in Cardiff Council uh, for like 15 years. Uh, and prior to that, I volunteered and that helped me, you know, in terms of getting onto the employment ladder. So I really see the benefits uh, of volunteering. So in terms of engaging with young people, uh, they often haven't got much to put on their CV at such a young age. So if they get involved in activities here at the Grangetown, uh, at the Grangetown Pavilion, we can update their CVs and show that they're involved in team working, organisational skills, uh, improving their confidence, uh, speaking skills. So I think there's a host of skills that they can learn and where they can also demonstrate on their CVs. So in the future, when they go looking for a job, it really reflects well that they have contributed to their local community. Oh wow. And 
so do you work with a lot of volunteers then? Or? Yeah, yeah, we've got an open call on our website right now with the Community Gateway website to encourage uh, people from Grangetown and the wider community to get involved uh, with any of our projects uh, that we have taken place. Uh, and, and that's gone down really well. I think for every project that we're running, we have lots of volunteers, those from the, from the student community at Cardiff University, but also from uh, the Grangetown community here. And it's fantastic to see those two uh, working together because often uh, you don't see that taking place in, in other activities across the across Cardiff. So you've got student community and a local community coming together to make Gravestown an even better place. Wow, it, just, it sounds very interesting. Have you found that you know having so many different people involved with each other in the volunteering has benefited um, certain areas like the youth forum or the counselling or any of the other bits that you Yeah, I think, I, I, I think bringing people together uh, from different walks of life um, to engage with each other, to work together on a common theme, on a common goal has definitely benefited uh, both groups. I think sometimes there's a misconception about Grangetown uh, and I think, you know, by getting people who have that misconception, meeting with people who live in Grangetown, work in Grangetown, are really active in Grangetown, it really does bring home that actually that misconception they had was just literally a misconception and actually there's a lot more to offer in Grangetown uh, and they're able to go back into their communities wherever they are from uh, and sing, up, sing the praises of that local community and say actually you know what Grangetown isn't as bad as you think it is. Okay so I'm gonna go back to something else you said you mentioned that you've been a volunteer yourself yep. um, so would you mind explaining what sort of volunteering you've been involved in? Yeah, um, I think it started back when I was probably in high school. Uh, I always used to want to get involved in activities, uh, whether that was outside of school, uh, at my local youth club, or even inside of school, uh, when there were things going on. I was like, yeah, you know what, I'd be interested in doing that. Uh, and, you know, it, it just always made me feel good that I was able to contribute and, and help out. Um, particularly, I enjoyed a lot more when I was uh, outside of school. Uh, the youth club weren't too far away from my house. So uh, yeah, the manager back then used to give me responsibility sometimes and you know to run sessions, to be in, ch in charge of uh, some provisions. And eventually uh, they saw a lot of potential in me, uh, put me on like youth work courses uh, to build my confidence uh, and also give me the skills to be able to deliver uh, the work I was delivering voluntarily in a, in a, in a, in a better way. Uh, yeah, and equip me with those skills to be able to continue to uh, give back to my community. And uh, yeah, and I, and I continue to do that ever since. So, Ali, you mentioned that um, you were involved in volunteering when you were younger. Yep. What role specifically were you involved with and how did that come about? Yeah, I think uh, when I was younger, I think I must have been about uh, the, towards the latter end of high school. I used to always help out, uh, get asked to support uh, younger pupils in the school. It was like a little a mentor, a role model. And I, you know, you, I think you, at that age you feel really good. It's like you know you're one of the older boys in the school, uh, you're helping the younger children grow up. Uh, especially because uh, uh, the, the school I went to, many of the kids uh, that went to that school uh, were from my community as well. So they were from Grangetown. And and Butte Town, uh, so inevitably you were helping people who are just like yourself, uh, and there's nothing better than helping people from your own community. Um, and then, yeah, I think you know when I was uh, an outsider school, I used to attend a local youth club, uh, Grangetown Boys and Girls Club, uh, that was located in uh, Earl Street Lane, uh, not far from uh, Channel View in the Mall. Uh, I used to go there like two, three nights a week, from like six thirty to nine. You know, they had PlayStation, they had pool, table tennis, playing football. Uh, but yeah, I think again, they used to have a, a night where more juniors used to come, more than seniors. Uh, and I was senior at that time, being 16 and over. And uh, yeah, I think I was given lots of responsibility to look after, lots of the younger children. Again, they lived in and around my community, some of them my neighbours' uh, children uh, and my friends' like siblings and stuff. So I had a really good time, you know, uh, putting activities on for them, uh, whether it was football uh, or monitoring them when they were playing table tennis. A lot of the time it was just keeping them in check really and just making sure you know they learn to share and play and get on together really and uh, create that uh, that friendship environment um, and I think you know as I got older uh, and the more hours I committed uh, they rewarded me with that commitment by putting me on courses 
and wanted to develop and train me to to be a youth worker uh, and to be qualified and and have the skills to be able to uh, effectively run sessions. So I think maybe a year after I uh, did lots of volunteering, I was employed uh, and, and actively working and getting paid uh, employment uh, within youth and community work. Oh wow! So would you say then that your, the volunteering you did has sort of helped you get to where you are today then? In your job? Oh. Totally. I think had I not volunteered uh, and got involved in uh, volunteering in my local community, uh, I probably would have took a, a different path. Where that where that would be, I don't know. But uh, I don't think I'd be here today if I if I wasn't volunteer when I was uh, at sixteen. Wow. And while you were volunteering then at, at sixteen and around that age, mm -hmm. did you meet anyone that greatly impacted your life or sort of encouraged you to get involved? Yeah, my youth worker back then was uh, Steve Kyra, who's got an MBE right now. He actually doesn't live too far away from here either. And I think, you know, I just used to see the dedication he used to put into uh, his, his work, uh, you know, towards us. You know, so I'm growing up now. I'm going to the youth club. That's my, you know, youth worker. And I'm like, you know, he, he's always there. You know, he's always taking us on trips. You know, whatever we wanted, we were getting. So it was like, it was like fantastic, like, you know. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, it was, it was awesome to see him. Uh, there was others as like Billy Hillman as well. Uh, again, you know, when I was growing up, he didn't live too far away from me either. Uh, and I grew up with his boys as well, who used to come to the youth club. So I think we always used to go on activities uh, like Duke of Edinburgh, uh, you know, trips to Orton Towers, Oakwood, uh, football trips, uh, athletics. So I think, you know, when you got a really good youth worker contributing to your life and helping you grow up like that, I think, you know, you want to maybe also give back the same. And I think that's what really uh, impacted me and I'm able to continue to really do that now. Really inspiring. And so, do you still keep in touch with any of these people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Particularly Steve. He still doesn't live too far away from here, uh, and he's since retired, but he still does like 50 odd hours a week, uh, trying to make the community uh, a better place. Whilst you were volunteering, did you find that there were any frustrations or disappointments at times? No, not really. Um, when I was volunteering and even working in the community, some people used to say, "Oh, you know what? You know, you shouldn't really work uh, so close to your home uh, because people are always going to rely on you and they'll knock your door for stuff, and you know, you're never going to be able to switch off from work." <clears throat> I think that's the beauty of it. I think you know the fact that you can contribute, and support your community, and be available at all hours. You know, to be honest. Uh, is it, you know, I've never minded it to be honest. Uh, there were times when I would uh, go on trips with young people, uh, my phone battery would die, and our parents phoned in my, my own home because they knew who my family were, or they'd be knocking my door because they, they never lived too far away. And they were like, you know, we can't go home the valley, you know, uh, how far away are they, you know, and uh, <laughs> you know, so you, you get these sort of things. You get parents knocking your door, asking you to sign forms, uh, passport forms, uh, trip forms, uh, all sorts of things asking for advice and I think you know crucially if you're not from that community and you're not giving back to that community I don't think you've got that sort of relationship so others sort of as a frustration doing work in their own community but you know I think it's kind of me it, it makes you what you are today I think you just got to be a really strong person and be able to uh, manage uh, the different uh, the workloads and expectations too I think crucially because if, if you're expected to be too much uh, and people do rely on you too much, then yeah, it is hard then, and it can impact your life. But I think it's, if you can manage it effectively, then you know, it, you, you'll be okay. Okay, and going back to the community then, how do you think the volunteering that you did and the volunteering that you, know, you help orchestrate now mm -hmm. impacts um, the wider community and contributes to society? Yeah, I think it's massive. Um, there's not a, I would say there's not a month that goes by that I don't get a request for a reference from a young person that I've worked with, uh, a request from an employer about an experience that a young person's put on their CV that they've done with me. Uh, so I think even till today, I've got people who are like in their 30s uh, who, are, who, are, who I'm getting reference requests for. Uh, and I think that just shows the impact of, of their volunteering, that employers are still looking back at what they were doing 10 years ago uh, and how that is important 
important to them today. So I'm able to respond, respond back to those references. I'm getting requests for UCAS applications for people who, uh, after a long time, have decided, you know what, I want to go back to university now, but you know, I need to get hold of Ali because he remembers me when I was, you know, do used to do lots of hours volunteering or used to attend a local youth club. So I think it has a massive effect uh, widely uh, on young people uh, and a wider community. And I think mainly, particularly because uh, young people find it really difficult uh, often to find opportunities outside of their community uh, and that can be for a host of reasons uh, like unconscious bias uh, from employers uh, you know or you know uh, there could be uh, an issue around postcode lottery whereby uh, some organizations might not give your people a chance because of where they're from and I think we've always been a very inclusive uh, and love to give opportunities to, to our young people particularly you know from the local community because if nobody else will then we certainly will and so for anybody who's thinking about getting involved with the community what words of inspiration and advice would you have for them yeah, oh, what words of inspiration would I give to somebody who wants to get involved in uh, in, uh, in volunteering in the community? I would say it's the best thing they can do. You know, there's no better feeling than helping people from your own community, irrespective of their background. If you're able to contribute even just an hour, it, it goes a long way. So yeah, you know, find your local centre, and you can even volunteer on what is of interest to you. It doesn't have to be about young people. You know, if you're good at a particular skill, then I'm sure that skill will be really useful to the community. So just get involved, get in contact with our project here or other institutions locally, uh, and I'm sure your skills will be welcomed. Oh, wow. And how would you defi define volunteering if you had to sum it up? How would I define volunteering? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, I would say volunteering is uh, giving up your time uh, to help uh, others or a particular project uh, when it needs you and also when you need them. Okay, brilliant. Um, well, I think that's all I have to ask you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, <laughs> what should I say? Um, I've got nothing else to add. Uh, I wish the project uh, all the best. And uh, yeah, if you want to get hold of us, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> 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 all down there. <laughs> no worries.